Can we call the meeting to order, please? It's 9.35. And again, I apologize. Um, at this point, the only item we have on our personal and higher education committee agenda is to discuss a, a request by our public defender, Marcy Flores. And at this point, I'd like to turn the floor over to Marcy. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. I appreciate oh. everyone allowing I'm, me to Excuse me, Marcy. I just need a point of order. We have to call our, our Oh, I apologize, Mr. Chairman. Well, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, motion to call our, our made by Supervisor McDevitt, second by Supervisor Frazier. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you so much. I apologize. That's okay. Ms. Flores. Thank you. I have an attorney who's out on medical. It has been a month now, a month and a day. Um, the person can take up to five months of sick time. It's a long-standing employee um, without touching his vacation and his personal time. Um, he, that attorney covers it, uh, one of the family court judges, and as you know, we have two family court judges, so I've reassigned the cases. I am in a bind um, in terms of being able to cover everything, so that's why I'm asking for a temporary part-time attorney. Um, in terms of the numbers, I got it from the treasurer's office, so that's where my figures come from. The total amount that was being requested is $10,000. $246.85, and that's from Heidi in the Treasurer's Office. Um, logistically, the attorney, I believe, will be coming back part-time starting three days a week. I don't know when yet. I, meet, I check in with him every Friday and we communicate. Um, so the attorney that I have been discussing a part-time position with is an attorney who has been practicing for a while and um, would be willing to work two, three days a week. My feeling would be that when my attorney comes back three days a week, I would only use this other person two days a week or when needed to cover things. Um, it will, I am not looking for to make this into a new position. I need to make sure that everyone's clear on that. I just need coverage because we have so many courts and things to handle. We have 12 courts plus parole plus the, uh, we need three attorneys in family court, one for each judge and support magistrate. According to offices, Office of Indigent Legal Services. We should have 13 attorneys working in our office. We have eight, including me. With a person down, it is difficult. Um, we've been working through this, but I feel this is an emergency basis, and I'm respectfully requesting time and money, which I don't have in my budget, and I admit it, I don't have it in my budget. I really kept the budget to exactly what I can absolutely do. So I'm requesting part-time uh, attorney position. I have gone through personnel, um, civil service. I have spoken to our chair and he signed off and I greatly appreciate that. So I'm here with you and I'm sorry to make the request, but I'm honest with you. Thank you, Ms. Flores. Sure. Just um, Marcy, in Marcy's request, I just wanted to point out the position that she's creating will be for an, a term not to exceed seven months. Correct. And the amount that she's requesting, the 10000 the treasurer's office suggested that we start out with the salary for three months. Right. And then at the end of that, if this funding is exhausted and she needs more, she'll come back. But rather than do the full seven months, they thought it was better to do a right. shorter term to start. My gut feeling is mm -hmm. the 10000 would be sufficient. Um, I think the person will be back sooner, but I don't know, and he still has <coughs> another four months of sick time that he can use before he touches vacation and personal. Thank you. It's my understanding at this point we would need to get a motion on the floor to, uh, to discuss this from personnel before moving on to finance if that's the committee's desire. A motion is made by Supervisor Montesi, seconded by Supervisor Brock. Is there any discussion? Supervisor Chairman Leggett? then relate to resolutions 173 and 172. That is correct. Are there any additional questions or items for discussion? Supervisor Bramer. Thank you. I just want to be clear. Is the person getting paid then a daily basis or it will be per hour and they'll log in or, you know, yes. do it? My feeling is <laughs> it's going to be per hour, not per day. I think that's a more cost-effective way to do it, and that's why the breakout from the treasurer's office was um, per hour. They were allowing eight hours per, per day. We do seven-hour mm -hmm. days. But I've, only if the person is actually working are they getting paid. We're mm -hmm. not putting somebody on payroll to sit around all day and not do something. Not my world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any other questions? Supervisor? Marcy, okay. I'm assuming you have someone in mind already? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, sir. And I had discussed that with the treasurer's office. <coughs> so they, I'm sorry, with the county attorney's office. So they were aware of who that attorney was in advance. Didn't know if I needed to, but I thought it was just important to make sure they knew what was going on fully. And I did speak, I apologize, I did speak with the county attorney when the person went out on sick leave. And, and one more thing. Yes, um, 
and maybe Frank, to me it doesn't matter, we can take it out of the contingency, but I don't know if you want to have it come out of the fund balance or, or I mean, I'll, I'll contingency, okay. So when it goes on to finance, we can do that in a resolution. Absolutely. Supervisor Brock? Um, the person that you're going to take on, that person's very experienced, somewhat experienced? Very experienced. Um, I think you'd all be very happy. I don't want to put that person's yeah, no. name out yet until, but I told them that I would give them a call at the end of the day to see what happens today. And if the answer is yes, great. If the answer is no, no hard feelings. I, you know, I just have to make this request. Marcy, it, and the position would start when? As Monday. As Monday. Okay. Um, I, the reality <laughs> is, I don't, as of right now, depending on how many cases come in today for court on Monday, what, what would happen? It, and I can't judge that. It's hard for me to tell you how many cases are coming in on every day. Um, it depends how they apply. Well, hearing no further discussion from the Personnel Committee, we have a motion made by Supervisor Montesi, seconded by Supervisor Brock. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? That motion carries. Thank and at you this, very much. At this point, we will move into the finance section. So uh, out of personnel, we have a resolution. We just need to make sure that it's uh, taken out of the uh, contingency. Motion made by Supervisor Merlino, seconded by Supervisor <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All those carry. Thank you very much. Hey, Marcy. And I will assure you I will keep it to the minimum hours necessary. It's important for you to hear that from me. Okay. Thank you. Get a haircut Thank you. Are there any other items to be discussed this morning? No, no, no. Hearing none, I have a motion to adjourn. Chairman you. Conover, seconded by Supervisor well, Beatty. You're right. You did that. Motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Yeah. 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 Yeah.